Rachel Reeves. Thank you, Mr Speaker. This weekend it is reported that Atos have pulled out of a DWP contract providing specialist disability advice. The Department's response, Mr Speaker, an internal memo instructs staff deciding whether people are disabled enough to receive disability living allowance to Google it. Isn't this the biggest indication yet of the sheer contempt in which the Department for Work and Pensions holds disabled people? Well, she's completely wrong. <coughs> First of all, it was not an internal memo. Uh, it was guidance that goes out to the Department in the normal way. And can I just know, well, let me just say, actually, the Honourable Gentleman needs to keep quiet for a while and listen a little bit more. He, he, you know, well, I just say to him, you know, this man has travelled so far in his political career, we never know what he's talking about. He's gone from being a Tory to being a Blairite to being a Brownite, and now he's a socialist on his website. So I wonder whether he needs to keep quiet and just listen a little more. The answer to the Honourable Lady is that Atos Healthcare has not withdrawn from the contract. And normal procedures to update guidance in the process of DLA reform are actually going through. And under DLA, only 6% had face-to-face -face assessments. Majority have face-to-face -face assessments now under PIP. Uh, and therefore, decision makers have much more objective information than they ever had before. So there's no change to the quality of the service. This is a simple contract adjustment to reflect and meet the corresponding business needs. And she really shouldn't listen to jobbing journalists who come to her to tell her they have an issue. Rachel Reeves. Such a Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm not sure whether the Secretary of State has even bothered reading the memo from his own department. As the Secretary of State knows, the PIP is only going to a third of the country because of the failure of his department to deliver that reform. After the chaos of the universal credit, the work capability assessment, the PIP, the work programme and the youth contract, DLA is now in chaos as well. Is there any part of the Department for Work and Pensions that is actually working? Yay. The thing that's wonderful about the Honourable Lady is she never listens, she just reads what's on her script that she actually had from before. It doesn't matter what was answered. I've already told her, no, no, I've already told her, the Honourable Gender should keep quiet, otherwise he'll jump out of his underpants the way he's going. Order, order, these occasions are becoming deeply disorderly. A question has been put. The Secretary of State is answering it. And in all due courtesy and orderliness, the House must hear the answer. Secretary of State. The first answer is, with respect, Mr Speaker, is that he should keep quiet quite a lot, I think. Uh, the real answer here is that, nonetheless, on PIP, I have to tell her she's completely wrong. We are, like every other programme, controlling the rollout to make sure that it rolls out and meets all of our needs. There is nothing that she has to concern herself about. It is working and it will work all the way through next year as exactly planned. The truth is